Hello, Leo. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Window for the Soul. My name is Gemma and this is your August 2023 general reading, general Celtic cross. Happy birthday to the Leo Collective. I know some of you will be July Leos, so happy belated birthday for those first decan Leos, but for everybody else birthday time this is your season the sun shining down on your side what does august have in store for my leos of the fifth house the house of pleasure and play and romance and creativity and self-expression and drama leo your overall energy for this reading is deep knowing what do you know what do you know yeah, you're in the know. There's definitely something here that you are already in receipt of knowing and understanding, or there is something that you're about to find out. There's something you're about to figure out. All of that sun energy on your sign, shining a light on something that was potentially previously hidden. I would say deep knowing definitely indicates there is a degree of intuition and gut feeling going on here so potentially something that you kind of felt you just kind of knew maybe you didn't have any tangible evidence for but you just felt it you knew it maybe you'll be receiving some kind of confirmation of that thing during august let's get some cards on the table for you your overall energy for august is look at this beautiful ace of pentacles this is an opportunity for something new, but also for something tangible. Um, it, it could be money. It could be a promotion. It could be something career-wise. It could be some kind of proposal in some way, whether marriage proposal, but like somebody proposing something. It could be an invitation. It's somebody offering you or the world or the universe offer, offering you some kind of opportunity. And I think this could be your confirmation, something you felt somebody wanted you to do. You thought they might be proposing this thing or you had a feeling you might get a little bit of a windfall or you were thinking oh, i might be up for a promotion here or this person might come to me and slide into my dms and say certain things whatever you thought what i'm trying to say is it's going to be lovely and it's going to be an exciting opportunity that you will certainly be giving pause to think about and consider seriously but i don't think it's going to be that much of a surprise it's going to be more confirmation of something that you had an inkling about already crossing you is the queen of cups so you've been sat kind of patiently waiting for this for a while so you've been in fairly good a fairly good emotional place um you know i don't think you've been sat there irritated or frustrated or impatient yeah i think you've been pretty chill you have been waiting a while but you've been chill lies at the root of this situation is the four of swords yeah it's so somebody definitely kind of took a snooze on you here didn't they <laughs> whomever is coming in in august to offer you whatever has been quiet for a while um they've kind of they 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 went ahead and took a time out and uh went off in a different direction and went very very quiet recent past is the chariot yeah they they, they paused that there's a pause it's like you knew that where they wanted to go and what was what was up they knew what was up but we all just we all just paused back there for a mo and now, now we're cooking on gas again. What's in your what's on your mind, Leo? Is the lovers okay? Gemini energy. So this Cancer energy over here. We've got some Libra as well on the table. Strong Gemini Mercury energy. Now Mercury is poised to go retrograde during August. So just bear that in mind. I will be doing some bonus readings for that. Um, what's on your mind is is love. Essentially, what's on your mind is potentially 
speaking of like a romantic connection so this could be an ex sliding into your dms again mercury retrograde can often bring that you are considering this offer though i will say that's entirely up to you to to discern um the lovers yes soulmate ex any of that kind of stuff or, or just the person that you've had your eye on the person that you've kind of maybe been speaking to on the dl uh kind of stepping up and saying hey i think uh, i'd like to take this to the next level and make this like a committed serious confirmed thing Let, let's let's be boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever um the lovers is also a choice um it's also like it can be a moral dilemma but i feel in this particular situation it's more the choice should i take this offer or should i refuse this offer so yes it might be connected with all of the lovers stuff soulmates romance relationships chemistry true love twin flames all that jazz but it could also be you making the decision shall i shall i accept or shall i not accept it could be both those things could be both of those things but overall you know this is strong energy because not only is it in your mind but it is a major arcana i do think you're taking i don't think you're snapping this person's hand off they're offering you and you're like and you're thinking about it you're thinking about it you are not in any rush to to jump up and look too keen maybe you really really do want to accept this but you don't want to look too keen or too desperate so you're playing it cool perhaps maybe you are genuinely considering the pros and cons weighing them up here be interesting to see if the the justice card comes up to confirm what's going on here coming in for you is the six of swords okay this is why the hesitation this is why the hesitation somebody has some baggage somebody has something that needs to be fully released or cleared before you are able to proceed ahead you may feel this person has something that you would like them to release whether that be a mindset an attitude or something in, in more in the physical world like another person or maybe they live in a different country or town and, and we need to, you know there's that logistical they need to release that and be closer maybe you're not interested in a overseas romance like a, a long distance kind of connection it could be any of those things there's something here that needs to be released i don't think it's you that needs to release it however so there's the hesitation we'll get some more information your advice here yeah, your advice is to hold off. Your advice is to to wait. This is this is a no, but it's a no not now, not a no not ever. Right now, there's something here that is giving you cause to hesitate on taking this offer, even though you knew it was coming, even though you felt it was coming. There's something else you need from them. Th this could be as simple as we need to have a really, really challenging emotional conversation to clear the air before we proceed forward. Like, don't you come in here pretending like X, Y, and Z did not happen in the past. We need to address this. There's a clearing of the air or a releasing of old baggage, old wounds, like a detaching from something, some icky energy. There's some icky energy attached to this. And you have absolutely zero intention of trucking on ahead and ignoring that. You, you, you absolutely need that to be addressed first. Once that's addressed, then maybe we proceed forward. Who knows? We'll see. But the advice is to, to basically this, this pause, this hesitation. The advice is to uh, heed your instinct on that perhaps that taps into the deep knowing there's something in you that is there's a reason if you found yourself hesitating and you're not really sure why i would pay very close attention to that vibe because something is stopping you for a reason this person is represented by the five of swords 
Mm, that's challenging energy, Venus and Aquarius. It's it's a fight with consequences. It's potentially enemies that act like friends. Somebody is not being entirely straight with you here. Somebody, it's like somebody kind of has an agenda. I'm not feeling it's as nefarious as, as the way it's coming across, though. I feel it's more based in naivety than maliciousness. I think I really feel like somebody's coming prancing in and kind of neglecting to acknowledge some pretty challenging stuff that definitely needs to be cleared out and addressed before we can proceed. And it's like you even bringing it up is like, oh, really, do we have to do this? That's an incredibly immature approach, I, I have to say. And it feels immature and it feels naive. Uh, naive to assume that we just pretend like some of this challenging stuff never happened. And I think this is why the, the hesitation, because... You know, we are, we're not stupid, but we know a lot about psychology now, even those of us that are not psychologists. You don't have to go and do your degree in psychology to understand the basics. And one of the basics is that if you just accept this person into your life in whichever way they are arriving, without addressing any past baggage or hurts or issues or challenges that occurred, the lesson that this person is learning from you and the message that you are sending to them very clearly is that stuff, it's okay. You go ahead and treat me like that. You go ahead and behave like that. That is absolutely fine with me. I am 100% prepared to accept that kind of behavior. And so if you want to do that again in the future, you, you go for it. Because I have now made it very clear that I am going to tolerate that. What we're looking at here is you simply drawing a boundary and saying, okay, if we are to proceed forwards, we need to look back and address this stuff because I need you to understand implicitly that this is not okay and this is not something I want to be repeated. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, ain't going to happen, right? I like that energy for you. I can see Queen of Cups, the lovers, you probably care about this person deeply. So holding them off and saying no might not be the easiest. But this is very much one of those I love you, but I love myself more situations. Hopes and fears is the four of wands. Okay, right. A fear here is that you... If you don't snap this person's hand off and immediately accept their offer, that they may rescind it. And that that is something that causes you to wonder if insisting upon this boundary is going to backfire. Do I even need to tell you, Leo? I'm pretty sure that you are able to come to your own conclusions regarding that. You might love this person, but you love yourself more. You must love yourself more. Okay? Overall outcome, beautiful. Look at this. Gorgeous. This is the Empress. The Empress knows all about loving herself first. She knows all about self-care. She has the energy and the empathy and the caring and compassion to care for others. But she doesn't neglect her own needs. She puts her oxygen mask on first to enable her to be more nurturing for other people. She's Mother Nature. This is the way forward. You, you must maintain this boundary for yourself. What is meant for you will never pass you by, Leo. 
you already know that. This person is pretty much the only problematic card in this entire deck. In this entire reading, really, genuinely. This can be a bit rough, the Six of Swords, but honestly, the, the, the only the fly in the ointment is, is this person's energy. So maybe they need to figure this one out. You know, maybe this is a lesson that they need to learn. I'm going to pop some cards down here to explore your person's energy a little bit deeper in the extended. The link to the extended is in the description. I'll be back for Mercury retrograde bonus readings very soon. Take care. I'll see some of you in the extended for the rest of you. Namaste. Love you all very much. And I'll see you in the next one.